Hi, design thinkers. My name is Matthew Sear, and today we are going to be getting into Figma and we're going to be using some scaling variables to actually automatically scale up and down our icons. So if you'd like to learn more about how to set up some scaling variables on your icons and have them automatically go up and down sizes, you're in the right place. So let's get into it. All right, here we are inside of Figma. Basically, if you do not have a scaling table or have some scaling numbers, that is okay. We are gonna create our own very small one just for our icon set here. Though, I would highly recommend you create your own uh, scaling table of scaling numbers. All they are is basically you have your base point scale number and then you're just multiplying those numbers by 1x, 1.5x, 2x, and 3x. Uh, but let's jump into how we can create our own scaling icons and demonstrate what we have over here. So I've got a couple of these like simple little face icons down the bottom. And what I've done is I've set them up and I've added in my scaling variable. And I can go to my layers and I can actually start to use my scaling set. Because of my setup, I've got a screen scale as well as a the multiplier that goes underneath. And as you can see, I can scale it up and down these four sizes. I can start on my small point where I will start on a base of 12 and then I can scale it up to 18, 24, and 36 for my small size. And then if I'm on my medium screen, I can go from 16 to 24, to 32, to 48, so on. So now I have multiple scaling sizes that go up and down for my screen. What we're gonna do is just create a very simple version of this. I'll leave those on. But I'm just gonna put down a couple of caveats. If we're gonna actually scale our icon, we will need to make sure that our icon is not an outline icon. For example, I have an outline one and I've got a solid one. We, if we were to scale up and down these frames, as you can see, the outline itself will not adjust to the frame, but the solid one will. That's because this outline will not adjust as the scaling of the frame increases or decreases, which is something good if you want to maintain that until the point where Figma implements a outline scale, this will not be possible with these types of icons. So you're going to have to use solid icons for the time being if you want to have your own ability to scale using variables. So how do we actually make an icon inside this frame scale? Let's draw ourselves an icon frame. We are going to set this frame up just to 24. I'm going to clear out that background. This will be my new icon frame. What I can do is I can grab my icon. I can just chuck that into that frame. Let me scale up that icon. I'm going to keep about two pixels of spacing around it. And I need to set my icon frame to an auto layout and I'll need to make sure that of course I have my icon as a word so like I've set my icon as icon I've set my icon to a base white but I've not applied any tokens or anything to it you're much better off setting up your baseline set without those attached so let's set that to an auto layout let's set that to center we are going to remove that number but before we remove that padding we actually need to set our icon in the frame to an absolute and what this does is it means that the, the actual icon can actually scale to the frame 
So I can click that to absolute and now I can go down to scaling and I can now take away the padding of the auto layout on the frame and that icon will sit in the middle. It will have about two spacing on either side because I set it up to be that way. And now if I scale up or down this frame, you'll notice that it scale, the icon scales with it, which is exactly what I want. And basically from there, because I've set this to an auto layout as well, I can now actually apply the actual variables to the height and width. And I only need one height, height and width variable applied because I'm going to keep it on a one to one ratio. So let's set up our local variables. Now I've already set up obviously my own set. If you haven't set up your own set, you can either set up your own scaling set that can be like this one. If you like, this is going by a scaling of two. Or if you want to just start from scratch or you just want to start from your own base point, the scaling of this works like this. So we're going to create a new collection. We're going to make a very simple version of our icon sizes. So we're going to go I icon and we're going to call this icon size. And then I'm going to create some numbers. So I will create this one. And uh, so this one is going, I'm going to have, let's say four sets of numbers that I want to use for this particular size set. So this will be my size. And I will be starting, let's say, for example, this set at a 16. So I will call this my, hmm, let's start with small, and then we'll go to a medium. Then we are going to go to a extra large, and then we are going to go also just large. And then a extra large. And that can be 16, that can be 24, that one can be 32, and this one can be 48. So now we have actually a scaling range from 16, 24, 32, 48. So if you want more, obviously, for your actual actual variable, you obviously, unless you're upgrading your plan to the, the enterprise version, that you're only able to add more modes that way. But the only other way to do it would be to have an actual scaling table like this and then loop it in to your icon size set. But for this, that's a reasonable range. And now all I need to do is I'll click onto my icon and I'm gonna go up to the width and I am going to choose that new scaling that I created. What I actually, I do know that I have already size this. So I'm just gonna call this something slightly different just so I can 100% get it right. So this will be on size. And we'll just copy that. All right, go here, apply, we'll find icon size. And then we go up to height and apply, go icon size, and there we go. Now I can actually click on my icon, I can go to my layer, and I can now switch it between small, medium, large, and extra large. And now I have my own actual free size range for my icon set here. Overall, I hope this uh, video has helped and gives you some fun ideas on how you can create your own icon sets 
and being able to then create your own layering. If you are interested in some more advanced ways that you can set up your icon sets so that you can group them throughout a basically small, medium, large, extra large screen set, and then also having them tiered with uh, four, four levels of scaling, then let me know in the comment section below. But until next time, design thinkers, keep thinking, keep building, and keep creating amazing things. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.